Okay, so this this is part two of my. This is the follow up video on my follow up video. <laughs> on your bouncy bubbles video, right? So, In Kodia. This is a follow up video on my follow up video. <laughs> and what are we gonna do today? So, so this. By the way, this is something that looks about like this. We're gonna. So did so <laughs> I I actually did what we're gonna do in the video already. Oh, you already prepared. So, like in a cooking show. Yeah. You've already made the cake. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be making today. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I like have this the the cook the cooking show uh, the the cooking show thing. So so the so this this. So this Look, they just bounced off each other. Yeah, yeah. This, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, gonna make the bubbles in our previous bouncy, bo bouncy bubbles uh, project. Uh, we're gonna make them not only bounce off of the edges of the window, but also bounce off of each other. Okay, this is our goal. Let's go. Okay, so let's go. So uh, let let's go here. Exit out. This and where I left off with in the previous video is this. I... Yeah, this is what you um, lectured on last time. How to make the bubbles bounce off the floor, of the ground. Actually bounce off all the edges. All of the, the edges, sorry. Yeah, but, but you've involved gra gravity, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, and, now, and there's no wind. Yeah. There's also no wind. Um, okay, so let's turn this into a project where they bounce off each other. Are you going to make the gravity smaller then? To make them like fly around? Uh, no, I'm actually going to use spring. Ah. I'm actually going to use spring forces. This is quite different than what I did uh, in... This is quite different that than what I did in uh, the example that you saw in the beginning of the video. This, this okay. So it's not going to be exactly what we saw at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first, ooh, are we going to need a spring? Are we really going to need a spring? I think we're going to. So, I'm... I'm just gonna uh, make a verb called. So these are my forces. Um, I have a gravity force and a friction force, uh, and ultimately these are not gonna be scalar values, but uh, vectors, uh, which we'll get into in a, a later video, or may maybe even in the next one. Okay. So, uh, so I'm gonna add another force here. I'm gonna call it spring. I'm gonna set that spring force equal to 0 0.05. This is like the strength of the spring force. This. So we're not putting the entire forces. We're just putting pro properties of them, and, and the other. The other properties are actually happening inside of the thing that has the physics engine, the ball in this case. Okay, so first I am going to uh, need to... What? What? Uh... Okay, so first... Uh... So here we go. Yep. Now I'm I'm also gonna have to add some properties to the ball. Uh uh so uh uh what I'm going to do is I am going to add some arguments here. Gonna add an ID. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, other balls. So I'm, I'm just going to say self.id equals id and self dot uh, others equals o. So I'm gonna just uh, send in an array. So also I gotta add some properties now. Uh, also I gotta add some arguments now here. I'm just gonna. So it's ID. I'm just I'm just gonna use a counter for simplicity. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I, which is uh, right here. Let Let's use a counter that starts starts with zero. So I'm just gonna say I I minus one. And then these balls. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh dear! Oh boy! Oh dear! I I just see that the balls should actually be filled in first. Uh, actually, no, no. Actually, not because there are going. They are going to be no. They're going to be. Gonna You're looking at the original code and processing, right? Uh, yeah. In Java, this is where you're translating from. Uh. So, here's the thing. I first have also got to. So I've got, I've got a, here's a thing. I gotta know when these balls here are, I've gotta know when the balls, uh, I gotta know every ball. Every single ball. So, right? And I I have no way, kind of way to do this. So, uh, I actually have got to uh, uh, have another loop here. Uh, J starts, J starting at I. And they're going to num num balls. Num balls, no. Num balls. They're at this point. They're just not. Not uh. I, I, it's gonna. This is a oh boy. So here's the thing. They have got to know about every ball, every single ball. And I don't, so, and I don't know at this point every single ball. So, I got, so, uh, at this point, this is where I need to, Make the. This is, this is where I need to make the balls first. And then. So I. 
I have got to now. One one way of doing it is not initializing the balls here. but initialize them in a completely separate loop. So I can say, uh, wait, oh, can I put this to today? So I, they have got to, eh. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, just to do this, I'm going to say balls index i dot others equals balls for them to know, just for them to know about the other ones. This should be the same exact program now. So, I can, so this is one way of doing it. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that thinking out someday, <laughs> I think. That doesn't matter. It doesn't this matter. This is a process. The, the, the point is, I want to make them collide with each other. Here we go. So, Oh boy, way face. I thought this video is gonna be about making these collide with each other, but I'm actually just debunking to make every ball know about every other ball. So, I'm gonna uh, write a function for the ball called, I know, oh, it worked, that's kind of interesting, called collide. And what collide is gonna do is it gonna have a loop for i equals i d plus one common num balls. Uh, this is this is why actually having the counter start from one would make sense because then I don't have to say ID plus two uh, and and also I don't know why we start from ID. Uh, But this is the way the processing example starts, right? But the processing example doesn't have the J. You came up with the J. What J? But you also had a J. You've introduced a new loop. Yeah. Oh, those are also I's. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I, I just try to make them know, know, know about all of them. This doesn't make sense. So I'm, I'm going to say D x equals others index i dot x minus oh boy ah self dot <laughs> I make this mistake every time minus self dot x now I'm gonna say local D Y equals, and, and I make this mistake every time, especially what, when I'm porting from processing into a different language. So, let's see. Others 
index i dot y minus self dot y. I'm just going to calculate it on my own. Uh, to calculate the distance, I can just calculate it on my own. Vectors make this a little bit easier, but I'm just going to have a separate x and y variables. And it's just the square root, so I'm going to say math, dot square root. That's like Euclidean distance. Right? dx times dx plus dy times dy. So this is the first <laughs> video where we're actually going to use a bit of trigonometry. Yeah. But that's basically like the Pythagoras theorem. The right? Pythagorean theorem. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it wrong. Then... Uh, I also have got to make the minimum distance. So I'm going to a minimum distance. I'm just going to say others. Uh, <laughs> nothers. Huh? Others. Index. I no not is not uh <coughs> autocomplete. Sometimes I want sometimes I want to autocomplete, sometimes I don't want to autocomplete. Dot diameter divide by two plus self dot diameter divided by two so this so if the distance is less than the sum of the two radii the sum of the two radii is in this nice variable here called minimum distance I'll just use that Then, they are overlapping, and I want them to collide. Okay, so first I have to calculate the angle. Woo! So I'm gonna, this is where the trigonometry math comes in. This is the first time, this is the first, this is actually the moment where we'll begin writing some trigonometry. And I'm going to use inverse tangent here. So, math dot, and then inverse tangent is a tan. And a tan 2 is the same function here. I'm going to say dy and dx. This is actually the first time I'm using arc tangent. Hmm. This is the first time I'm using or tangent, not not counting the uh, circle collision example, where I'll also use that. Uh, so I want to calculate the angle, and I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, notice y is first, and the x is last, because our tangent of dy divided by dx, and not dx divided by dy, that's calculating the angle. Uh, so, mm, now, let's see. Oh, boy. It's hard to type here. Target x equals x. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I, I always keep... That 
mistake. It's self.x plus cos. Th this is the x. This is the x it's relative to. Plus cosine of the angle times the minimum distance. And think of this as like a polar coordinate relative to self dot x, right? If you wipe out self dot x, minimum distance times cosine of the angle, the radius is minimum distance, and the angle is angle. Great. So now let's do the same. Now let's do the same thing for y. Target y. Uh. Ah. Target. Target y equals self dot y plus math dot sine of the angle 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 while we're filming is that is really hard to type. Um, minimum distance. Okay, so I'm meaning this is not like a polar coordinate here, uh, relative to self dot x and self dot y. Now, now, I now I want to figure out an ex the acceleration, the acceleration. Uh, so, I'm going to say, uh, this is the first time we're actually using the word acceleration. We're starting to calculate its acceleration, because we haven't calculated the entire force for this brain force yet. So, I'm, we just calculated the strength for the spring force, and we just made, made up a number for that. So, so... I'm going to call spring x acceleration x, acceleration x, and say that's target x minus others index i. dot y no no not at dot y dot x right we're thinking about the x axis right now and then i i also got to uh this the strength of the spring i'm gonna say the strength of this and hopefully this is normalized so i i can multiply that by the strength of the spring spring it's already that Strength of the spring is a verb called spring. What's the spring? strength of the spring? Is this like ridiculously small number spring? <laughs> uh, now let's do one for y. So acceleration y equals the acceleration for the y is target y minus others uh oh and i forgot a whole lot of self dots so dot and i oh, hot wealth dot self dot this is self dot uh this is self dot others Uh, uh, can you find anywhere else? Uh, I'm, I'm using others. Ah, uh, here, here I'm using a place. Self.others. 
And I think this is the last one. Self that others index I. Dot Y times spring. Okay, and now I need to subtract that. So this, so this is, we now calculated the negation of the acceleration. So I'm going to say VX equals V, uh, uh, I, I can't, I can't figure out what's going on with my this type mistake. Self dot x equals, so, so, wait, self dot velocity x equals self dot velocity x minus self dot acceleration, no, no, it's no self dot for the acceleration x. No, I, I, I just ran, run, run the sketch uh, by accident. And let's also now do one for y. Self dot velocity y equals self dot velocity y minus accelera acceleration uh, y, and then. can say self dot others index i dot velocity x equals self dot others index i dot velocity x and then I it's it is negate the negated acceleration for for me but not for the other stuff okay so I'm I just gonna say plus Uh, excel acceleration x and then let's also do the same for y okay so now hopefully we calculated it now I forgot a major thing you see they're not colliding and the reason why is you know I I haven't called that function yet, so I have to make sure I call that function explicitly. So I have got to say a ball colon. Oh boy, this is gonna be exciting. Ball colon collide. Oh boy, this is really exciting. Hey, everybody, we did it! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's wait while they bounce off a little bit more. This never works in the first try! <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, they just keep bouncing. That they're just they're just so they're so bouncy. They're just so <laughs> bouncy. It's probably is something else is my strength of the spring force. I we should probably stop this 
tutorial now because it's uh, already I half an hour long. I first, uh, so uh, I, uh, I'm gonna pause uh, this this tutorial and see if things uh, fall to the ground. Okay, so they successfully fell to the ground. I think they're never they, gonna they, stop moving. They keep, they keep bouncing. That, a that bit. just because I think that just because there, there's just so many room. So much room. So much room. Well, let's say bye till the next time. And, and so, so, uh, uh, until next time. And next time, I think I'm gonna start. Already doing some uh, vector, uh, s some vector stuff. Uh, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, see you in that video.